Hey kids, Kate Clinton here. Thanks for stopping by. Now, I don't know if you know this, but when a group of bishops gets together, it is technically called a bishop prick. Oh, perfect, because those bishops are really feeling their oats. They were instrumental in the defeat of marriage equality in the great state of Maine. They lobbied hard, put a lot of money into it, spoke from their bully pulpits, and also put out pamphlets, but you'd hate to want to tax the church, wouldn't you? <laughs> and in the House Health Care Reform Bill, they lobbied hard and got an amendment called the Stupac Pitts Amendment. How perfect. And the Stupac Pitts Amendment severely limits abortion funding. Aren't you guys special? Ah, they have had a couple of glitches, though, and that is they commissioned a study, and the study found no indication of any kind of connection between homosexuality and pedophilia. You can bet they'll be recommissioning that study pretty soon. But great news from the city, uh, the great District of Columbia, the District of Columbia City Council wants marriage equality. There was a move afoot there to put a measure that would ban marriage equality. Uh, you know, the bishop bricks were behind that. And the D.C. City Council said no way a ban would go against our Human Rights Act. So way to go. D.C. City Council. Of course, the bishops got their little knickers in a twist, and they were like, well, we're going to have to shut down Catholic Charities then. Oh, charitable of you. Next time you fill out your little envelope on Sunday morning, give that a little thought. Sad news, though. In uh, gay publishing, as you know, the Advocate magazine has gone down, and recently the uh, Washington Blade announced that it was bankrupt, as did Southern Voice, another wonderful publication. And lots of conversation about why did it happen? Was it uh, at new, you know, no advertising? Was it the new media? Well, I'll tell you what I think it was. It was Sarah Palin, our little IED of demagoguery. Sarah Palin appeared on the cover of Newsweek in her gym shorts. And I think it just freaked out the gay people who were like, oh, Shut down magazines altogether. I think the only way you should show Sarah Palin is ha always have that little old coop behind her feeding the turkeys into the blender. That was a great shot. <laughs> Blood everywhere. And speaking of which, it's Thanksgiving time. There's a great big turkey on Grandpa's farm. He thinks he's very gay. Ah, happy Thanksgiving, and thanks for stopping by.